Hi guys, VST here with NSP Tech. I promised to come back on the Vault enabling for the OnePlus 8 Pro guys and Android 11, Oxygen OS 11 and if you have been following my videos and of course the commands you probably know that apparently you cannot very easily enable Vaulty for the Oxygen OS 11 because simply Android 11 is blocking the PTC application so apparently you cannot connect and change the profile on your phone and you know i've been just saying to the guys hey listen don't update right now to oxygen os 11 to android 11 because right now there is still not an approach that we can use right and people start to receive the better updates for oxygen os 11 then the 8 pro could not really be discovered by pdc and then they were just stuck then of course you have been using the latest oxygen os 11 on your oneplus 8 pro but then of course no volty and that's kind of a problem and you see there are a lot of comments you know on android 11 uh, stopped being supported so no vaulty there in general people are really frustrated and i just told them hey listen you know there is not a way for you to use vaulty now i got the vault directly out of the box i think i was just lucky because apparently my profile the operator i use in bulgaria was supported right so i just got it stock right i just needed to install an apk to enable the voltage switch guys but anyway if you are looking at this video then you pretty much know what the idea is and i think finally finally I think some Russian guys on the 4PDA forum, they seem to find a solution. So there seems to be a way to activate the factory testing mode. I think what FTM sends is factory testing mode and then go into QPST PDC. And this actually guys, what I want to test with you. So you need to hook up your phone to the PC and you need to also to go to the developer settings. Now, of course, if you are already watching this video, you probably know how to do so. When you go into the developer setting, you need to make sure that you have the USB debugging here. Then you need to also make sure that you have the minimal ADB and fastboot installed guys. And actually when that happened, you just need to type the first command so the first command that you can see here is actually adb reboot ftm okay so i already did it to make sure that i test my phone so here guys this is my phone and i'm just typing now adb reboot ftm don't freak out all right don't freak out because when you type this your phone is gonna black out right you might be thinking it's because you played too much cyberpunk last night no you're gonna get this chinese inscription here and that is the moment actually i freaked out but hey this is the factory texting mode right so just let it be a little bit, let it be 20 seconds maybe. And after that, guys, you need to type the AVB command that is here. In the phone, you need to type ADB shell, okay? And you see right now, this is actually the guarantee that we are now hooked up to our phone. And then we need to change some props. So I'm just going to copy paste this command. Oops, make sure that you do the right thing. It's the right command. I just hit enter. You know, nothing seems to happen right now, but you see the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be opening PDC and if everything runs smoothly guys you should see here the modem and in fact you know when I saw this on the screen I was like yes this time the Russian guys got it I'm not sure really who is to take the credit I just saw this here on the 4 PDA forum so boom this is here the QPST PDC tool working on my OnePlus 8 Pro using the latest open beta 4 running the Oxygen OS 11 which is based on Android 11 and you can see here I get already the Telenor Denmark profile activated so you know how it will work from here if you just need you know you can deactivate sub 1 sub 2 if you don't know how to do from here then please watch my previous videos guys but it is indeed working now once you disable your old current profile you need to re-enable some of the vaulted profiles here again if you don't know what to do at this point make sure you watch these two videos they're gonna be here guys and with that said i really hope that you will let me know in the comments down below if this has worked for you now very important once you change the profiles here you need to type adb reboot okay and then when you do this guys boom your phone is just going to get rebooted and then boom hopefully 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 you're gonna get now the ability to enjoy your Valdi profile and then of course also have the Valdi connection right i need to thank uh, one guy called krasi for pointing me here to the russian forum the guy that posted this is called Das. Again, it's on 4PDA.ru, probably one of the best forum for Android related things and etc. Now my phone is rebooting, guys. I just wanted to show you that this probably is a working solution. Please, please test this and let me know in the comments down below. Is this working? Yes, no. What is your experience with this? Let's catch up, guys, then in my next video. Stay safe, stay healthy, VST over and bye.